Hello everyone, welcome to this session of pair of linear equations. In this session, we are going to learn the last concept of this chapter where we learn how to solve the equations which are not linear. Like for example, let's say I'm having these two equations, let's take them as equation number 1 and equation number 2. If you see, the variables are in the denominator, so it is clear that they are not the linear equations. So first of all, we have to do some adjustment and we have to reduce these two equations into linear equations. So therefore, we can call this concept as reducing to linear equations. So let's convert these equations into linear equations. How to do that? Let's see. We can write these equations as 2 into 1 by x plus 3 into 1 by y equals to 13. And this one we can write it as 5 into 1 by x minus 4 into 1 by y equals to minus 2. Let's put 1 by x equals to p. So in place of 1 by x we will write p. p is one more variable. And in place of 1 by y let's write q. q is the other variable. So therefore these two equations become 2 into 1 by x that is p plus 3 into 1 by y that is q equals to 13 and 5 into 1 by x that is p minus 4 into 1 by y that is q equals to minus 2. Now we can see that we got two new variables p and q. If you look at their powers they are 1. So easily we can identify that these two equations are linear equations. And we already know different methods for solving pair of linear equations. Let's take this equation as 1 and this equation as 2. Use any method for solving this pair of linear equations, you'll surely get p equals to 2 and q equals to 3. But our aim is not to find the values of p and q, but we are to find the values of x and y. So here we already taken p for 1 by x and we got p as 2 so 1 by x becomes 2 similarly we have taken q for 1 by y and we got q as 3 so 1 by y will become 3 since 1 by x is equals to 2 we can easily say that x is equals to 1 by 2 and since 1 by y equals to 3 we can easily say that y equals to 1 by 3 here we got the value for x that is 1 by 2 and value for y as 1 by 3. So finally we got the value for x and y. Let's have a recap of this session. The complete course for grade 10 CBSE Math is available in pendrive and SD card format. Click on the link to buy now. To know more, you may also check the description box below.